Bang YouTube. This is your boy DJ Cool Bang. Welcome back to another video. And let's roll the intro. Alright, let's get to the subject of today's video. I'm going to teach you guys how to transfer your music as a backup to a USB flash drive. This is a Sandus Cruiser Glide 16 gigabyte USB thumb drive. So, I'm going to show you how to do it. So, you plug it in to your USB port. Plug it in like so. Wait for it to be recognized. There we go. There's my DJ music drive. So make sure it's all cleared out before you open up Serato DJ Pro. We'll open up Serato DJ Pro. We'll wait for all the music to be uploaded. And of course, we're gonna do a short little playlist for my USB thumb drive. So there we go. Um, okay, it's loading up the music iTunes library and core complete. Okay, so, and now it's gonna be loading up my Serato crates from my Lacey one terabyte external hard drive. So let's go down to a very short playlist. Um, let me see here. We'll use our kid friendly music. Kid, um, that's 34, that's good. Family party. Um, let, let's try the kids hip hop and RB as a little test. So we take our kids hip hop, rap, and RB. Um, before we even do anything, you press files. Make sure your entire file system is on there. Drag and drop. You press copy and that will copy all of your files to a USB flash drive. It takes a while because it's from a US it's from a USB C uh, external hard drive from Lacey. It's a one terabyte. So it'll hold all of my music on there. So this is just a little test um, playlist. This should show that it does work when you use the kids' hip hop and R&B. It's one of the shortest playlists I've ever uh, saw. It'll take a it'll uh, take a while, but it won't take too long. So what you can use a USB flash drive for is backup, or you know for um, you can use it for anything. The flash drive is going to be for a backup solution. So whenever I'm at a wedding or a school gig or any type of DJ gig and I need a backup because my main system went down, I always have my USB flash drive with me. Because there's sometimes where I don't have any cell signal or or anything. So we're copying all of our um, kids, kid friendly hip hop, rap, and R&B music to my 16 gigabyte uh, flash drive. So that's basically how you do it. So that way if you're DJing, you can get a flash drive ready as a backup and you have the exact same music from Serato onto your USB flash drive as a backup just in case something does go wrong. Because some of the cheap mixers like from Tion, the A4 mixer has a built-in USB port. That is where the USB flash drive will come in. Just put it in the flash drive and use it as a backup media player, just in case. So there's a lot of reasons to have a USB flash drive as a DJ. Mainly for backup reasons. See, I had, it's a good thing I chose the hip hop, um, R&B and rap music, because it doesn't take a long time to copy the files over, because it's a very short playlist. It's very, very short. Just to show you, it does work, and um, and 
as you can probably see, you can go to the DJ music here, and there's all your music in .m4a format. And there's also MP3s as well. You can do MP3, M4A. It'll read almost all your files on there, which is amazing. So it's a really nice solution for a backup. Just in case something does go wrong at your DJ gig, always have a USB flash drive prepared. Or stream music from your phone if you have a cell, cell signal. Because that's what I did at, River, at Ocean Bay. Because at Ocean Bay... My main system went down, and I had to go to my iPhone and stream directly from my local music library on my phone, so that's where this flash drive will come in. It's a good, it's a good temporary solution to keep the party started, you know, keep the party going when your main system goes down, especially outside during a really, really hot day, about, um, it's going to be at least um, like 96, 97, 98, 99, 100 degrees because that's how it is here in South Carolina. It gets really, really hot during the late summer, early fall. That's the hottest month is like um, late, late, late September, early October, like late summer, early fall, which is August, September, October. And it starts getting cold around here in November, maybe even December. And then, of course, it gets really, really cold in January, February. And, of course, it starts warming back up in March. So, yeah, you can really see how hot it gets down here in South Carolina. So that's why I always have to have a USB flash drive with me at all times. So this is basically how you copy your music right to a USB flash drive from Serato DJ Pro. You just copy all of the music that you want, and then of course you um, drag and drop it to your flash drive, whatever it's, named, whatever it's named. And of course you just copy all your files, which is amazing. I mean, that's just amazing. So we're copying all the music from my Serato library to my USB flash drive. It's just a test. I had to pick the shortest uh, playlist in my library just to save on time, which is actually doing really well. And as you can see, it's copying each of the files to my USB flash drive, and then those files can be played on anything with a USB port. Any music player with a USB port will work just fine. So this playlist is a good example. It'll cut down on time and of course it'll be done in no time. It'll copy each of the files to my USB flash drive. You can play it from your uh, any music device that has a USB port, like an A4 mixer from Teon or on the, one of the USB ports on my Ion Tokyo Max, or you can play it any, you can play it anytime, which is amazing. So there you go. There's all of my music files. And of course you close it out. You close out of Serato DJ Pro. We're gonna back up the library on the exit there. You can see it's backing up my library on the exit of Serato DJ Pro. backing up to my lacy hard drive and there you go there is my flash drive and there's the serato folder which keeps all the metadata from serato onto this usb flash drive and now it's all ready to be played in any external player that it has a usb port something like the a4 mixer which is the main idea to use this USB flash drive is me getting the uh, Tion A4 mixer and then all that music can be played on the USB port through that mixer and have it transferred out to both my PA speakers and use it as a backup system just in case and of course you can um, eject it take out the flash drive boom 
and now you're ready for your DJ gig. That is how you would, you know, copy music from Serato DJ Pro over to a USB flash drive. This is a 16 gigabyte Sandus Cruiser Glide uh, USB thumb drive. I got, I got it on one of my lanyards, so we are now good to go. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like it. Make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification bell you, so you can get notified every time I upload a brand new video. There's going to be a lot more videos to come in the near future, like the rest of this week and into next week. I mean, I got a whole bunch of uh, videos. So I got at least a few more video ideas on this um, note here from Apple Notes here. Um, how to pack a vehicle for a DJ gig, how to, how to make your YouTube videos professional, my DJ gear update for April 2020 to tell you guys what I'll be getting for my birthday, and why I use a Mac for DJ. So those are the video ideas I have coming up for the rest of this week and into next week. So hope you guys are ready for those future videos. Make sure to subscribe and the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Until next time, DJ Cool Thing out. Peace.